Kitten TTS is an open source realistic text to speech model with just 15 million parameters. So you can run it on CPU. The model size is less than 25 MB. Uh, they provide you with high quality voices and it is optimized for real time speech synthesis. So we can try out this particular text to speech model in a collab notebook. So it is very simple. You just need to install okay, uh, Kitten TTS. And once you have installed, then uh, you do it like this. You, know, uh, you create the model over here and then you generate the model by specifying your text and the voice. So they provide you with eight voices over here, right? Um, you know, four female voices and four male voices over here. So this is what I did over here. So I instantiated the model like this M is equal to kit and TTS and is nano point one. And I said M dot generate. So this is my text. This is uh, this high quality TTS model works without a GPU. Tell me how does it sound? Is it too robotic expressionless? Is it good or plain bad? And the first voice is a male voice. Okay. So the model is downloaded. It is just, you know, less than 25 MB. Right. Uh, and the voices are also downloaded and it executes it for the very first time. It took close to 24 seconds because of the download. You need hugging face access token over here to access this particular model. So you have to add a hugging face, you know, in secrets you need to add a hugging face token over here. Right. And once you do this, your audio file is generated and it sounds like this. This high quality TTS model works without a GPU. Tell me how does it sound? Is it too robotic, expressionless? Is it good or plain bad? You see towards the end there is this, you know, the last part is not generated properly. There is an abrupt ending. Some people have raised this issue on their GitHub, right? Um, this was the first voice. So this is the male voice. Now you have female voice, right? So now let's listen to the female voice over here. So for the second time, the generation took close to eight seconds. This is with the female voice. So the generated uh, audio sounds like this. This high quality TTS model works without a GPU. Tell me how does it sound? Is it too robotic, expressionless? Is it good or plain bad? Okay. Now this is the male voice, the second male voice. This high quality TTS model works without a GPU. Tell me how does it sound? Is it too robotic, expressionless? Is it good or plain bad? Okay, so this is the female voice. This high quality TTS model works without a GPU. Tell me how does it sound? Is it too robotic, expressionless? Is it good or plain bad? We have had two male voices and two female voices. Now this is the third male voice. This high quality TTS model works without a GPU. Tell me how does it sound? Is it too robotic, expressionless? Is it good or plain bad? I see the uh, voice is almost similar. No? Uh, slight change in expressions or slight change in accent or between the male voices. Now this is a third female voice. This high quality TTS model works without a GPU. Tell me how does it sound? Is it too robotic, expressionless? Is it good or plain bad? Okay, this is the final male voice. This high quality TTS model works without a GPU. Tell me how does it sound? Is it too robotic, expressionless? Is it good or plain bad? This is the last This high quality voice. TTS model works without a GPU. Tell me how does it sound? Is it too robotic, expressionless? Is it good or plain bad? So I wanted to put some things like uh, emotions or something, but it doesn't work. Right? You have this law for... Mm, oh. Let's see how it does. This high quality TTS model works without a GPU. Tell me how does it sound? Is it too robotic laugh, expressionless hum? Is it good or plain bad? Hmm. It says expressionless hum. So yeah, you be the judge of how good this you know, audio has been generated for the text over here. The good thing is that this is just a very small model. 
and i think currently it supports only english over here it's a uh, it is just 25 mb right it's a 15 million parameter model and they have uh, provided you with these voices now whether this is enough for your use case or not is something which you should decide but uh, it's nice to see a very small tts which is just 15 million parameters which is very lightweight which can be easily deployed on cpu you don't need gpu okay now what are the limits of this particular model it's not been explained over here properly somebody has even raised you know uh, issue on their uh, github need to define the limitation of this model not just the features like text length voice etc so there is no reply for that so there are others over here who talk about you know abrupt ending right uh, so it stops very abruptly there are some issues with this particular model but um, you know somebody is talking about license issues right but it's nice to see that we have a very small uh, you know, tts which has been released um, so you can check out if this particular tts works out for your use cases so this was a short video on kitten tts hope the video is useful see you in another video